All right, yo, what's good? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Nothing Phone 2 versus the Pixel lineup. Whenever you mention Nothing Phone 2, people always say, oh, but what about the Pixel 7? What about the Pixel 7 Pro? Um, what, how are the cameras doing? You know, I heard the cameras are bad because of reviews and stuff like that. So right off the bat, let me say this. Nothing Phone 2 is a really good phone and the cameras are really good. Obviously, it's not flagship level, like the iPhone, the S23 Ultra, even the Pixel 7 Pro, it's not exactly at that level because of software issues and software um, fine tuning and optimization and stuff like that. But it has really good cameras. Now, when you're talking about if a phone is worth it versus another phone, you have to consider multiple things. And those things are battery life, software, power, efficiency, and even just aesthetic. And, you know, do you like the way that the phone looks and feels? So let's get into it. Nothing Phone 2 versus Pixel 7. I think Phone 2 is a better phone overall than the Pixel 7. Pixel 7 has, you know, really good cameras, really good camera processing because of Google software. And it's a smooth phone, you know, 90 hertz display. And it works well. It's good for its price range. But I would choose the more powerful and more efficient processor in the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 in the Nothing Phone 2. Way better battery life. Uh, I feel like a really comfortable and nice looking phone to hold in your hand. Even the software, I feel like Nothing OS is a little bit more creative. They're continuously adding more and more useful features that I would personally use. For example, quick toggle widgets on the home screen and the lock screen. Those are useful features to me. And then just the whole aesthetic overall vibe of the Nothing Phone 2 and the software. I feel like personally, I would put those things over the Pixel 7. More power, better battery life and better software experience in my opinion. Nothing Phone 2 versus the Pixel 7 Pro. To be honest, it's a very similar experience to the Pixel 7. It just has one extra camera, slightly better screen. Overall, software experience is the same. So Nothing Phone 2 wins in software experience when it comes to that. Uh, cameras, obviously it's gonna go to the Pixel 7 Pro, just a flagship camera system, and it's better on all levels. When you're considering these phones, you gotta ask yourself, how much is the camera worth in terms of like the overall value of a smartphone? If you value the camera so much, then go for a pixel like that's there's no question about that if camera is what you want go for a pixel even over i would say samsung's just because pixels are some of the best and easiest phones to just pull out of your pocket take an image and that's it the best point and shoot cameras on android period in my opinion but if you value other things like performance software experience customization and even gaming you know performance your phone performing well without heating up um thermals Nothing Phone 2 is just better on all levels, um, better than the Pixel 7 Pro, in my opinion. Like, the only thing, in my opinion, that Pixel 7 Pro has over Nothing Phone 2 is the cameras. And there are some slight AI features with the Pixel 7 Pro, but personally, I don't use a lot of those features. Like, I don't use call screening. That's the only AI feature I can think of off the top of my head. And uh, yeah, like, are you somebody who's heavily invested in AI? Then go for the Pixels because Google is putting a lot of effort into all that stuff. So Nothing Phone 2 versus Pixel 7 Pro, I'll go with the Nothing Phone 2. So now Nothing Phone 2 versus the Pixel 8. So this one is a closer comparison than the other ones because I feel like the Pixel 8 should be more powerful, uh, should be more power efficient and last longer with the battery life. And uh, obviously the cameras are getting better. The base model Pixel 8 now has a 120 hertz screen which is comparable to the Phone 2, except that Phone 2 has an LTPO displays. It can go down to one hertz to save battery life, depending on what you're doing on the phone. It still comes down to like, what do you want out of your device? I still believe that the Phone 2 will be more powerful um, in terms of gaming. We don't know about the thermals yet, the heat performance. Uh, so we'll have to wait on that one. But in terms of power, Phone 2 should still be more powerful. It really comes down to like your preference. The software is really cool on Phone 2. Looks nice, smooth. Some of the best animations in the smartphone game period you know symmetrical bezels which google hopped on and now they have symmetrical bezels but obviously they are two different looking phones um you know two different styles and aesthetics so it comes down to what you prefer the pixel 8 i think is looking to be a really good phone this year really worth it some of the most notable differences between nothing phone 2 and the pixel 8 base model is the storage so nothing phone 2 with 12 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage is 999 Canadian dollars. The Pixel A is 949 Canadian dollars for 128 gigs of storage. Um, if you value more storage, you literally get double the storage for like $50 more with the Nothing Phone 2. But then you can pay $30 more than Nothing Phone 2 and get 256 gigs of storage for the Pixel 8. So 
it's pretty close to be honest yeah we really have to see how these pixels perform overall i like the aesthetic of the nothing phone 2 but i feel like it's also like i said it's a bit hard to recommend over the pixel 8 because of you know the improvements that google should make to the pixel 8 another notable thing is the size difference so the base model pixel 8 is a little bit smaller whereas the nothing phone 2 is like it's as big as the pluses, the maxes, the ultras, and the pros out there. So if you want a smaller screen, then go for the Pixel 8. Now we have the Pixel 8 Pro versus Nothing Phone 2. And to be honest, I love Nothing. I love Nothing brand. I love Nothing Phone 1, Nothing Phone 2. And I, I'm excited to see what, what else Nothing does. I love the earphones. But Pixel 8 Pro is more worth it in my opinion. Especially right now, today, um, in October. Was it October? October 9th, Monday. I think the Pixel 8 Pro is more worth it than the Nothing Phone 2 just because of the pre-order deals. So if you're getting it for the base price with no pre-order deals, nothing extra, then I would choose Nothing Phone 2 because the Pixel 8 Pro is a pretty good amount more expensive than the Nothing Phone 2 with the same amount of storage. In Canada, the Pixel 8 Pro 128 gig model is 1349 Canadian. So that's pretty, that's a pretty big bump, 350 more than the 256 gig model of the Nothing Phone 2. And then you can even go a little bit lower with the gray Nothing Phone 2 base model of 128 and get it for 930. So yeah, the price difference is, is pretty big. But right now with the deals, you get the option between a Pixel Watch 2 or the Pixel Buds Pro, which I would say get the Watch 2 because more worth it uh, for free. So if you, if you pre order right now for a Pixel 8 Pro, you get that Pixel Watch 2. I think that is, that makes it more worth it to buy right now than the Nothing Phone 2 just because it kind of uh, nullifies the price difference. Although you're still paying outright that money for the phone, um, you're getting something in value, which is worth a little bit more than the $350 difference. So just because of that, I would say Pixel 8 Pro is more worth it than the Nothing Phone 2. But in terms of like everything else we talked about, what do you value the most? Although I think the, the Pixel line looks really great this year. And even last, in my opinion, I think the sevens look better um, with the shape, but I do like the flat screens of the eights. So there's that, you know, Google software is pretty nice. It's smooth and it's basically what nothing built their software off of, you know, in terms of like just the basic stock Android experience, but with a little bit more. Google is more bubbly and rounded and stuff like that. Like I said, the AI stuff, apparently it's gonna be even more crazy with the Pixel 8 in terms of like camera features and stuff like that. But personally, I would not use, like I'm not trying to like, you know, stitch together photos and stuff like that. Maybe I might, who knows? Cause like sometimes you, you wanna do that for like different use cases, like a thumbnail or something like that. But if I'm just taking a picture of my friends at the beach or something like that, I'm not going to move person from one side to the other side. I feel like that's just like, it goes into that question that Mark has asked, what is a photo? I personally won't be using a lot of that AI stuff if I had a Pixel 8 Pro for photos, but you know, it is what it is. Whatever you value, then go for that. But right now I'll choose the 8 Pro over the Nothing Phone 2 just because of this pre-order deal. Getting a free Pixel Watch 2 is, is a really nice deal. And with the promised increase of battery life, I think it's going to be a solid watch but yeah that's it for now hopefully this video brought you some clarity in terms of what you should buy but yeah until the next video we hope peace